So here in this question, we've got polynomial long division with two variables. Uh, that can be a little bit awkward. So what we've got to do is try and do some kind of setup to help us to work this out. So what we do is when we're doing long division, we normally do what's called a bus stop situation. So if I set that up on here and show you guys how to do it. So I've got denominator always goes outside. So x minus 2y goes there. Notice the order that these are in because that is important. And then do my line across the top. Answer will appear here. And my input will be my numerator. Now when putting these variables and terms inside this bus stop here, what we have to do is align them up with the x terms first and then list the ones with only the y's after. Now you'll see why that is, is in a moment. Now I'm going to list them with the order of the indices with the higher ones first. So the 3x cubed, so the higher the indice of the x, x is, I'm going to put first. So this one will go first. So 3x cubed y. Then I've got a squared term here, 2x squared y squared, and it's plus. Then that's not got an x, so I'm going to come to that in a moment. 14xy cubed, that's to 1, and this one is also to 1. But as this y is cubed, I'm going to put that first. So plus 14xy cubed, and then minus xy. And then the two terms that are left is this 2y squared and minus 60y to the 4. So I'm going to put the minus 60 to the y4 first. And plus 2y squared last. And that would be my setup to work this out. So now what I'm going to do is, as I go along doing long division individually with these terms, I'm just going to concentrate on the x. I won't do the y initially. The y will come in when I try and multiply out from my result. So you'll see how this goes. So now I want to do 3x cubed y divided by x. Well, that's going to give me 3x squared y. So if I write that in here, see there's a matching term there, 3x squared y. There isn't, so I'm just going to write 3x squared y at the top here. So 3x squared y. And then the y here, I won't divide what's inside the boxes here. I will now multiply this by each of these two terms outside. So 3x squared y multiplied by x will give me 3x cubed y. So I've got 3x cubed y. So that should always equal the one you've just multiplied out, just to check your result. And then multiply this with this. So that will then give me minus 6x squared y squared. Now I've got an x squared y squared term here. So I'm going to write that in a line with that. So minus 6x squared y squared. And now what I do is I subtract these from the ones that they correspond to. So that divides, uh, subtracts with that to cancel out. And then 2x squared y squared minus minus 6x squared y squared gives me 8x squared y squared. Okay. And then these ones here they just all come down. So if I just draw arrows instead of writing them for now, and we'll see as they go along. If we need to write them, we could do. But I'm just going to do that so I know that these are all just going to come down. Because if I'm essentially subtracting zero, they will all stay the same. Okay, so now I'll concentrate on this part of uh, my solution. So I've got 8x squared, y squared. So now I just divide that by x. And I've got 8xy squared. Now there's no corresponding x and y squared terms. So I'm just going to write 8xy squared just over here. So 8xy squared. So that takes care of that. And now as before, take that, multiply it by this term and then this term. So the 8xy squared times that should give me that, which it does. And then multiply this one by 2y. I've got 8x times 2, which is minus 16x, and then y cubed. So I've got a corresponding one here. So I can write minus 16x y cubed. So just double checking my answer, that looks good. Okay, so if we're writing these along here, if we find a corresponding um, term, that's going to help us out with our subtractions. So now we subtract again. And again, 
this one, subtract this one, should always cancel out. Then I've got this one, minus, minus this one. So 14xy cubed minus minus 16xy cubed gives me 30xy cubed. So that takes care of that. And essentially, all of these are having sub zero subtracted from them, so they all carry on the same. So again, I'm just going to bring them down. So that would take care of those. Okay, so now this is my term that I need to think about, 30xy cubed. So I sub, uh, divide that by x and I get 30y cubed. Now I've got a y cubed in my results here. No, so I can just again, just write that where, where I would like. So I'm going to write here plus 30y cubed. And again, distribute that with this term and then this term. So we'll get 30xy cubed, and then multiply that with that, I'm going to get minus 60y to the 4. And interestingly, I have a minus 60 to y to the 4 here. So I'm going to write that in line with that one. So minus 60y to the 4. So that's all I need to do for that step. And again, subtracting these ones out. So that one minus that one cancels out. This one will carry down again. So he will carry down there. So I've now got minus x, y. So I'm going to need to write that one in this time. Then I've got minus 60 y to the four minus minus 60 y to the four. So they cancel out. And this time I've got two y squared. So again, I'm going to need to bring that one down as well. So now I've got two y squared. Okay, right. Now, my next term I need to use is just this minus xy. That's the only one I've got. So minus xy, that just gives me minus 1. If I divide that by that, so minus 1, and then the y just stays there with it, so minus y. So that's my result for that one. Now, again, distribute the minus y in back into this one and this one. So I've got minus xy, and then minus y times minus 2y gives me plus 2y squared. So I write 2y squared. Now, usual business, need to write that out. And I can see minus xy minus minus xy cancels. And 2y squared minus 2y squared, that is also 0. So my answer is 3x squared y plus 8xy squared. plus 30y cubed minus y. And you'll notice here, there's a y term in every single one. So I can factor this out and go y, 3x squared plus 8xy plus 30y squared minus one. That is also corresponding to my answer. And if you wanted to, you could plug in some variables, let's say, x equals 3, y equals 2. Just as an example, plug that into here and check your answers and see if you get the same answer. And you should get 388. So I'll leave that as something for you guys to check. Okay.